what's good i'm back again with another video and today i'm going to show you how to look expensive put together and slay on a budget so i've got a few styling tips as well as some shopping tips that will save you guys some serious cash money so if you're interested in this video keep on watching Tip number one, buy designer on sale. So buying designer pieces on sale is obviously the best way to obtain your favorite um, designer pieces. I personally really love shopping um, like end of season sales because a lot of items can go on sale for up to like 40 to sometimes like 75% off. And one way that I like to monitor sales is through this really cool website called shoptagger.com. And I am partnering with Shoptagger on this video, but it's a really cool website that I wanna share with all of you guys um, that do a lot of online shopping or those of you that just want to save money. So it's basically an extension that you add to your web browser and they also have an iPhone app as well, but it basically notifies you when an item that you tag or an item that you save to your collection goes on sale. And I really appreciate this type of website because every single time I find something that I really like, I'll be like, oh, well, you know, that's gonna go on sale soon, so you know, I'll just wait for that to happen. Weeks pass by, I completely forget about it. The item actually does go on sale. And by the time I find out about it, it's too late because it's not on sale anymore. So with ShopTagger, that is an experience of the past. <laughs> So the way it works is when I'm browsing a website and I see an item that I like, I'll tag it or save it to my shop tagger collection. And you can like have multiple collections for whatever reason. And the cool thing is that it can also notify you if an item was sold out and it goes back in stock. So if the item you want is sold out in a specific size or color, shop tagger will notify you when it goes back in stock. And do you know how sometimes a specific color goes on sale, but like the other colors don't go on sale. Um, I like that on ShopTagger, you can actually choose the color that you want and it'll notify you if only that color goes on sale, which I really appreciate. You can also specify the discount percentage point that you wanna be notified at. For example, if I'm eyeing like a super expensive designer piece and it only goes on sale for 10% off, I don't wanna know about it. I'm not gonna buy it. I'm still gonna go broke. 10% is basically free sales tax. However, if it goes on sale for 50% off, that's a bit of a different story and I need to be notified right now immediately. So I just like that you can set the notification at different like um, on sale percentage points, I guess. So if you are ever considering buying designer pieces, I highly recommend that you buy them on sale just so you're not paying full retail price. And I really like ShopTagger as kind of a tool to help you monitor sales for your favorite items. And make sure you click on the link in the description box down below to download ShopTagger. Tip number two, utilize outlet stores. So stores like Nordstrom Rack, Saks Off Fifth, uh, TJ Maxx are really great ways to buy nice designer items at a discounted price. I've talked quite a bit about outlet stores in my um, how to buy designer items for cheap video. I mentioned the type of items that you should try to avoid when um, shopping at outlet stores. So if you're interested in that video, you can click right up here on the description box down below. But I need to tell you guys that I have found some gems at Nordstrom Rack, Saks Off Fifth, TJ Maxx, even Marshalls. And I know at Nordstrom Rack, they have, and they have this in all their stores, not just mine. Um, they have something called Designer Row, and it's basically like a full rack of designer items that are not at full retail price. So I've found really nice silk shirts. I found a Moschino sweater. I found like Alexander Wang jeans. I have found so many designer pieces um, for really cheap that way. So I would definitely uh, recommend like utilizing outlet stores and going to like all these discount stores and stuff like that. Tip number three, be basic. Get your basics together, boo-boo. No outfit can really be put together without basics. They are an essential part of any wardrobe. When shopping for basics, um, you should look for neutral colors like blacks, whites, tans, etc. because they will match everything and it's really easy to pair that outfit with like a pop of color or like a pop of extra, you know what I'm saying? And once you have your wardrobe basics put together, 
Only then should you go out looking for statement pieces. And you can honestly find really cool statement pieces at thrift stores, honestly, because they're going to be pretty affordable and you're gonna be the only person that owns that item. You'll be one of a kind. Also, just look for pieces that are really unique, but still fall within your own personal style. You shouldn't, um, like, buy something that looks different just because it looks different if it's not your style, you know what I mean? Because then you'll just, like, look ridiculous, you will probably never wear it, and it's just a waste of money. So look for, like, unique shapes or, like, cool patterns, different, like, embellishments, um, nice fabrics or textures. Whatever you decide to look for, make sure that you have your wardrobe basics first because you can't wear any of your statement pieces without them. Tip number four, expensive looking outerwear and accessories. So this is a crew neck t-shirt from Uniqlo. It was $9.99 and these are just basic high-waisted black jeans. Pretty basic outfit, right? Well, to make this outfit look a little bit more expensive, you can add expensive looking outerwear or accessories. Now, I literally mean expensive looking. Outerwear or accessories themselves don't need to be expensive, they just need to look expensive. So I personally think that leather jackets or leather looking jackets look pretty expensive because leather jackets generally tend to cost a lot of money, so therefore it looks expensive. It's all about perception. I also love adding subtle gold pieces to an outfit like earrings or, you know, rings, bracelets and things like that. Um, these are real gold just because I prefer, my, I personally prefer my jewelry to be real gold because I don't like them changing color. But if you're someone that doesn't really care, like literally you could just buy like $5 hoop earrings from the swap meet and once they start changing color, you could just like go buy another one. Um, I personally don't have the energy to do all that. That's the only reason why I like buying real gold. But you know, it's all about perception. If it looks expensive, you're gonna look expensive. You can also make a cheap outfit look expensive by adding one single what I like to call status symbol pieces. <laughs> so if you own a really nice piece that is recognizable, your outfit will instantly look more expensive. For example, when celebrities and like models wear just a t-shirt and jeans, they usually pair it with like a really nice recognizable handbag and a really nice pair of shoes and it instantly transforms the outfit. So you could just save up for a really nice piece, whether it's like a handbag or shoes or like even sunglasses. Buy it when it's on sale and you can use Shop Tagger to monitor that. And you can use that piece as like an everyday, like kind of sig personal signature piece that adds something a little extra to all of your outfits. And you wanna make sure that it's something that you're going to wear like pretty often, especially if you're going to be investing a little bit more money into it because otherwise you wouldn't be getting your money's worth. Um, so I would suggest something like a handbag, like an everyday bag or everyday shoes or jewelry or sunglasses or um, um, a really nice piece to invest in, in my opinion. Also, I wanna point out that your status symbol piece doesn't have to be like luxury designer, but just choose something that is not only recognizable, but it's also something that you're like totally in love with. But also make sure that you can afford it because you do not wanna be out in these streets living beyond your means. You know, it's just, it's, you know, it's not sexy. Just like Jay-Z said, if you can't buy it twice, you simply cannot afford it. I should take my own advice sometimes. So just be mindful when shopping. Shop at outlets, save up for specific pieces, shop on sale, just be a smart shopper. Tip number five, clothes that fit. So clothes that fit your body like a glove will always look a little bit more expensive because it gives off the look that they were tailored. Like it's a very subtle subconscious thing that people don't really think about, but I'm telling you, is true. So people don't usually get things tailored unless they're pretty expensive because otherwise it's just not worth it. For example, people don't usually bring in pants from Forever 21 to get tailored because the cost of getting them tailored will be more expensive than the cost of the actual pants. People will usually bring in like a Balmain jacket to get tailored because by then it's actually worth it. And you know, people spend a lot of money on these jackets and they want to make sure they fit really well because they spent so much money on it. So because of this, 
anything that fits you well will look a little bit more expensive because it will look like that piece was tailored for you. So this is a vintage Chanel jacket that I bought from a secondhand um, consignment store. Because it doesn't really fit well, it doesn't really look that expensive at all. Now, this is a bomber jacket that I just bought at Guess for 40% off. As you can see, it fits at my shoulders perfectly, so overall it just looks really put together and more expensive because it looks good and looks fitted. So whenever you're shopping for new items, just remember that anything that fits you perfectly will always look good. It'll look a little bit more expensive and you go slay either way. Slay either way, that was really weird. And those were my five tips for looking expensive on a budget. Obviously, budgets are subjective and relative to different lifestyles, but the tips are all the same. You should always be shopping smart when you're trying to look good on a budget. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see more fashion videos. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys next time.